Thank you, everyone. I'd like to share with you the optimization of every fragmented real moment. As is known to all, we are living in the uh, era of uh, fragmented moments. 75% of the time, you are either holding your mobile phones or reading your mobile phones. And the moment, the time you spend on PCs are actually is also declining. But that leads to another challenge. How do we capture these fragmented moments to better communicate my brand messages to the consumers? This is confusing to all marketers. Before answering this question of how, I'd like to raise some questions for you to answer. How to achieve better brand experience? I have uh, the following questions to ask you. You're all marketers. My questions are, first, how many of you, how many brands of yours have participated in the uh, November the 11th uh, uh, promotion? How many of uh, yours have participated in the uh, November the 11th promotion? Well, in the food and beverages industry, it's difficult to uh, promote. Promotion only plays a minor role in improved customer experience. Every marketer is driven by the expectation of a better consumer experience. For example, uh, how do I do tier one cities? How do I do tier two cities? How do I reach these consumers? And also, what is the retail arrangement? But at the core of these questions is, I need to find where my consumers are and who these consumers are. In the past, we uh, uh, launched the several consumer groups and have uh, several rounds of market surveys to get these uh, consumer insight. But now, it's getting more and more difficult. Do they get online? What devices do they use? They have hundreds or even tens of thousands of APPs. Uh, which APPs are their favorite APPs? What are their likes and dislikes? We're living in the era of internet. We're living in the era of big data. What data should I capture to better uh, come up with a accurate consumer profile? Competitors, by definition, uh, are different from our understanding in the past. In the past, in a hypermarket, similar products on the uh, supermarket shelf were regarded as our competitors. But now, at the e-commerce website, the research about what our competitors have done and what they are planning to do is far from enough. Therefore, we need to leverage the big data uh, via internet to do a better competitive analysis and therefore base our marketing information on the competitive moves, competitors' moves. I believe today's audience are anxious about uh, these uh, competitive analysis and the method methodology of a competitive analysis. I think my uh, presentation here today focuses on uh, finding the footprint of consumers to locate where your valuable uh, consumers are and then uh, how to touch them, how to reach them. In food and beverages uh, industry, what types of consumers am I looking for and how should I target them? Should I think about uh, developing loyal users, loyal consumers, or should I uh, build my pro propositions on impulse, impulsive purchase? Because here we're talking about food and beverages. But I do not think there is this conflict between loyalty-based and impulse-based propositions. And let's use data because the data talks. When we design our marketing program and especially the communication uh, program, we need to look at data first. Uh, if I'm explain to you um, the setup of my database, because all the data I'm about to share with you, uh, 
comes from of a database which involves 650 million uh, cookies, over uh, 15 billion cookie behaviors, and 45 million sharing records. And we got this data from social uh, networks and the searching world and the uh, uh, streaming uh, web view uh, pages. And through these data collected, we can answer the following questions. This is a very popular product, uh, a product recently launched called Xiaoming Tongxue. In our database, it showed that in the recent month, uh, we uh, captured um, uh, March data uh, versus uh, Peria water. Loyalty consumers of Peria water. We did some initial comparison, and this was the result. 14,000 of independent users of Xiaoming Tongxue and a half a million loyal customers of Peria Water. This is uh, another comparison between two uh, herbal tea products, Jia Duo Bao versus Wang Lao Ji. There is a fierce competition between the two herbal tea brands. But let's find out how many are fans of Wang Jia Duo Bao and how many fans of uh, Wang Lao Ji. Our database showed that the, the number of uh, fans or users are similar. Uh, it's about uh, close to uh, 200,000 fans per brand. Well, um, uh, which of the two brands has a more emotional attachment with their users? Let's see users which follow both brands. 37.8%. Uh, 37.8% 37 of fans follow both brands. That is to say, out of the Jia Duo Bao fans, 37.8% also follow Wang Lao Ji. This is our interpretation of this piece of data. So it shows uh, overlapping, 37.8% of overlapping. But we can uh, get into the detail analysis. Uh, demographical differences, geographical differences, or brand perception differences. Our data of their user profile shows very interesting things. Followers of Jado are relatively young. 45 of them are between 18 and 34 years old. And uh, perhaps because of the marketing strategies of Jia Duobao, people who follow Jia Duobao like to watch entertainment programs. And if you look at their profile, you can see that they are very interested in entertainment as well as uh, finance education, as well as other areas. Now let's look at Wang Lao Xi and their user profile or follower profile. You, in your mind, do you think they are going to be younger or older? Are they also very interested in entertainment? Now let's look at the follower profile of Wang Lao Ji. There is a big difference in terms of demographic feature. 40% of followers are between 45 and 60 years old. Wang Lao Ji is considered a traditional herbal tea brand. And those people who really 
like Wang Laoji, are relatively sophisticated and mature consumers. And if you look at their areas of interest, they're no longer most interested in entertainment. Instead, they are interested in food and drinks. A common feature of these followers is、um, the geographical difference. In fact, if you look at、uh, Wang Laoji, there is a quite large number of lovers or followers of Wang Laoji that are from the Sichuan province. So, if you look at these people's profiles, we could get insight on the packaging. Or creative plans and media strategy of、uh, brand communication. I talked about loyalty versus impulse, and in our opinion, they are not exactly in conflict with each other because. We shall combine these two areas, and I will talk about them in depth. We'll look at、uh, loyal consumers and impulse purchases in detail in a moment. But I believe that they shall play an equally important role. Now, how can we really find our target? Users and customers. We have a strong database, and in this database, through data mining, we find that、um, there are around 189 million people who are interested in food. We have assigned 184 tags, and in this keyword tag system, include that includes 400,000 keywords. We could.、Um, Divide people into loyal customers. For example, people who have、uh, interest in Wang Laoji or the celebrities that are spokespeople for Wang Laoji. Now, the followers of these two kinds are considered a loyal group. But、uh, if you go to a store, then it is customary for the Beverage companies to do promotion at storefront. How can we use internet data to reach out to our target customers? We could use the tag systems in our database to get a better understanding. We、we'll、understand the impulse purchases at certain places or during certain festivals. As I said, for the brand loyalty group, we are able to actually find the people who are followers of the brand, and we could also find potential loyal group. Let's use Wang Laoji as an example. We studied the, the user profile of this around 100. Eighty thousand people. We are able to find a potential group that is ten times as large as its loyal user group. For marketers, it is very important to identify a potential group of consumers so that you could make an impact on these like-minded people. This helps you to enlarge your target market. We can see we、uh, how we would find people who are interested in food, so that they can be considered a part of our potential loyal group. Now, for impulse purchase group, we have a big database, as I mentioned. We could cover 650 million people, and of That large group of people, we could look at Wang Laoji's consumption when people eat hot pot, and、um, we could look at keywords related to the eating of hot pot. When we find people who are lovers of hot pot meals, they could be related to the drinking of Wang Laoji herbal tea. This is a good way for us to find the target group.
Another example would be the drinkers of Wang Laoji when the weather is extremely hot. This is a good way for us to find potentially loyal group and impulse purchase group. Now, once we have the right data in place, how can we use the data to create them into actionable insight? In fact, before it might take us a very long time to create a report and then decide our actions, but we need to transform data into actionable insight in a timely manner so that uh, in this way we can reach out to the brand followers and the impulse purchase group. I I'm not sure whether you are interested in the concept of programmable marketing. If you're familiar with the concept of uh, programmable marketing, please raise your hands. Programmatic uh, marketing, please raise your hands. It seems that not everyone is familiar with this concept. Now, programmatic marketing would mean the use of um, back and data through the use of media resources, we could transform data into actionable insight. And we talked about how to find fans, followers of brands, and impulse buyers. But through pragmatic uh, marketing and with the help of relevant resources, for example, as I mentioned, we could have uh, OTV resources. And on video sites, we can be connected to video sites and we use our data to do targeted ad placement. And on MoTV products, we shall always uh, place our ads and more social. More feeds are other sources of media that can be utilized. So this way, the ads could reach the target group through different media. Now, uh, how can we have a more impactful ad? And in this way, we can leave a deeper impression on the users. And in this way, we would like to suggest that uh, smartphone and mobile phone is going to be important terminal, and that is why we developed MoTV proprietary to our company. Now, for most phones, I believe, we want to do mobile promotion, we want to do brand advertisement, but the screen is relatively small. And in most cases, you could only place banner ads. They only occupy a small part of the screen. And in this way, it is very difficult for you to showcase the brand image. This is very different from TV ads, where you have a much bigger screen. That is why in this process, we can help you address such problems, use technologies. We could integrate our video ads in apps. And such video ads will not take up any traffic because often cases video will take up traffic, but thanks to our technology, it does not take up any bandwidth or internet traffic. It does not require any bandwidth from the consumers. At the same time, it could be as high definition as Blu-ray DVD. So this will be able to help you convey the message and image of the brand in a much better manner. I'll like show you a demonstration where you open the app, you could see a brand advertisement. It often uh, is around 3 megabytes, but 
for our ad, the same ad length ad would be around 50 to 60 megabytes and show Blu-ray quality. To enhance user experience, it can be switched off or turned off at any time. But in fact, the consumers are often very receptive and they want to watch the whole video. Uh, this is a streaming video on the news page. We could put this video screen in the middle of the news app page so that uh, you could watch the video in a very easy way. This is a proprietary technology, which means that it can have high definition without taking up any wireless bandwidth. While working with a number of major app companies, we believe that uh, only major app companies will have the ability to help companies achieve high impact on consumers. We worked with the Egan brand extra on MoTV ad campaign. Now, a few words on the case study. This is third party data, and the user experience is optimal. On average, the user would watch 9.2 seconds of the video, and the click through rate is 10 times higher than an average mobile ad. We have 100% uh, users who are able to watch for over 4 seconds, while 46% of users watch the entire video. That is an impressive view through rate because you have the option to turn it off at any time, but 46% of users still choose to watch the entire video. This is a case study of our collaboration with Master Kong on its iced black tea. Now it's a uh, four second view through rate. Again, it's very high, 100%. If you have ever paid for an app, now when you open the app, you can't change the screen of the app for three seconds. But uh, for us, you have the option to turn off the opening page. However, we have four second view through rate of 100%. And uh, its audio engagement rate is as high as 10.8%. This is a study done by Epsos. The study has found that uh, for the open screen advertisement and the advertisement of app, the, you can see the popularity of the these advertisements now for open screen as well as uh, information stream ads for apps are relatively more popular compared with other kinds of ad advertisements. And you can see that uh, the video view rate is relatively high. Now, many people like to watch video. We have just launched this open image video ads, and we see that uh, People relatively like this kind of advertisement. The affinity is relatively high. So in our later work, we will continue to think about how we could uh, combine video ads with the app, open screen, and information stream ads. Well, we'll build connectivity between the two, 
the uh, APP streaming and the startup uh, uh, video and also the uh, video streaming, we build the connect connectivity between the two. Now we can benefit from uh, the uh, ITE uh, mobile video clips and also uh, resources at Sohu and some other portals. Therefore, we enlarge the amount of uh, data we have at our disposal and manage to uh, extend our coverage to a wider audience. A brief introduction about another case, um, Master. I believe uh, in Western countries, market surveys are done about the effectiveness of a product placement and also the uh, re-communication. So with product placement plus uh, repetitive communication, usually the uh, effectiveness uh, uh, doubles or even triples. So first we look at the keywords, and then we look at the effect, the choice of keywords with the uh, effect, effectiveness of it. Well, this is the master case. So in its uh, marketing plan, it has its uh, product in this uh, uh, TV comedy, a uh, TV drama, a TV uh, comedy. Uh, it features a uh, celebrity actors and actress Tong Da Wei and Zhao Wei. Its target audience uh, is uh, women above uh, 30 years of age to help them more effectively, we single out keywords like the name of the actor, the name of the actress, the name of the title of this uh, uh, TV comedy, and we also look at uh, the uh, sharing information related to these keywords. And also uh, we look at uh, the entertainment uh, websites, uh, video streaming websites, and come up with uh, a list of uh, uh, users uh, who have uh, streamed the uh, TV comedies uh, contents. And we find um, the uh, soy sauce target audience uh, is no more than uh, 34 million. But among these uh, people we find there are a lot of uh, fans of uh, the, the actor and the actress and the pure fan of uh, the pure fans of the TV comedy. So we uh, capture the really loyal fans and then do this uh, uh, matched or targeted placement. And we leverage uh, the uh, major portals and websites. And the final uh, outcome is uh, we both improve the uh, coverage and also uh, we increase uh, the, uh, the number of uh, followers of uh, the master brand. So the loyalty of uh, its uh, customers improved by 96%. We did a comparison before and after this product placement plus effective uh, uh, marketing program. So here we leverage its traditional marketing approach and the uh, celebrities endorsement and fans of TV comedies and find the links uh, between uh, different sources of people and uh, know where to invest our resources more effectively. Our objectives are, first we find where these customers are and what they like or dislike. Their age profile, um, their interest areas. So we come up with a more accurate customer profiling and along in this process, we have our uh, process-based model to analyze the data collected to come up with a, a better and more impactful advertisement content and know where to put these advertisements. So this is our uh, uh, so-called procedural model in analyzing our customers and come up with a better and more effective advertisement 
uh, plan. Thank you.